and welcome to another session of Lit Capital's Market Outlook, bringing you a forecast on this Monday morning for the week ahead, accompanied by majority of the team, starting with Lit Cap Pastor Pips. How are we doing, bro? Money day, bro. I'm doing well. How are you doing? Great to hear, bro. I'm doing very well. And we are also having Lit Cap Nate today. How are we doing, my bro? All good, man. All good in the hood. Good, good, good. So before we get started, guys, if you haven't already, please check out litcapital.co.uk. Uh, a new improved website for you guys to get started on your trading journey with us, okay? For those who are interested, please check out the packages section because we will be increasing our prices within three days' time, okay? So if you're looking to take that step and make that decision into learning the financial markets, try and be pronto because our prices will be going up. For those that are beginners, we do have some uh, uh, content for you if you check out the free course section where you can get an insight into what exactly... Uh, forexes and and so forth uh before we get into it as well if you haven't already please like and subscribe to our youtube channel so we can keep bringing you content like this right so before we get into it of course we're going to check out the economic calendar to see what fundamental events um can help our trades for the week ahead okay so going into tuesday we do not have much high impact news that kind of really stands out for something to to, to really focus on okay we've got some cpi coming out from china um that will be actually tomorrow morning um we have some speeches coming from fed Ridley, williams excuse me and governor bailey um, but no real fundamentals on the tuesday going into wednesday we have the monetary policy statement for nzd in the middle of the night again something to really uh focus on for those that you know we love to trade euro nzd so we'll definitely be tuning in for that uh, we've got GDP coming out of the UK tomorrow morning as well. Again, kind of high impact, something to look out for to see how the economy is doing. Uh, we also have some speeches from Governor Bailey as well. Going into the afternoon on Wednesday, we've got some CPI for the US and we also have that oil stocks change as well. Thursday, initial jobless claims um, going into the, the afternoon, the New York session on Thursday. Nothing really on Thursday morning. And then Friday, finishing off the week, uh, we got a meeting account with the euro and we also have some retail sales for the US as well. So nothing really super, super fundamental standing out to us, like no interest rates, no no unemployment data and stuff like that. Um, but nonetheless, you know, the, the things mentioned with the NZD, those, those are looking like the main events to kind of look out for. So heading over to the charts, I'm actually going to start with gold for you guys. Um, just going into what we kind of saw last week with it doing that crazy bullish run off of the NFP news. Um, we are potentially looking at sales um, or, or retracement sales down back to become buyers again, okay? Because from this area where we kind of just pushed up off of this consolidation, we actually headed to a eight-hour uh, institutional level and a zone here. Um, so we're hoping to see some type of, of pullback retracement so that we can kind of wipe out some liquidity to the downside before becoming buyers ourselves, okay? So it kind of lines up with um, a few things we're expecting with the DXY. We are looking at temporary strength on the dollar, um, but this area so far is kind of holding up in terms of what we're seeing from consolidation. We're gonna have liquidity to the downside here. So from where it's kind of been going sideways and ranging, this could be a good area to, to kind of see price um, head lower and fill in some of these imbalances that's left and some so forth. So this will be thrown in the Discord um, for sure. Um, but we're just going to look to see how it unfolds this morning. We don't normally trade Mondays, but as and when the trade does look uh, sufficient, um, we will be reacting off of that. So gold is definitely on the radar for this week just to see if we can get that downside, uh, downside movement first. Going over to the dollar, I want to show you guys as well with the DXY. Obviously, we are inside uh, this daily candle and we have seen price move down uh, regarding the uh, NFP release last Friday. Um, and we are pushing into this zone. So we're from the zone here. We are expecting uh, price to react accordingly as well. We're inside the zone. We're not sure it is quite a big zone, but it did leave some equal highs to the top. So if we can get a push up here in terms of some strength from the dollar this week, um, you know, that will be good for gold, of course, and it'll be good for the majors also. So definitely looking to see what gold will do here, if this area can hold up and we can kind of get uh, maybe consolidation or maybe just some uh, bullish price action forming on smaller timeframes. 
um, it could lead us to uh, pushing higher to, you know, take out liquidity and things of that nature. So that's kind of what I'm expecting for uh, the dollar. So again, those that are eyeing up your, um, the major pairs and stuff like that, definitely be on the lookout for what the dollar's doing. Last pair for you guys that I'm going to be looking at is the euro pound. Okay, so we've been hovering in this zone for quite some time, building orders. Um, it's actually within this uh, candle here. And we have yet to breach, but we have uh, a lot of liquidity to the upside. And we are currently pushing off of this session candle from last week. So it'll be good. It'll, I'm, you know, waiting to see the real direction because it can be a buy it from lower. Okay. Even though we probably would prefer it to go higher first and then actually be a sell to buy. Um, but nonetheless, if the buyer comes first and we see some of these um, imbalances filled, uh, lower down and areas played off lower down as well that would actually be good for this trade because we do believe um, it is in need of a retracement because it's been bearish for a very long time so if if and when we get down here I do think we can get a retracement uh, buy on this to actually become a seller from a lot higher so if we're looking at the weekly time frame you know we're within this weekly candle and we have been pushing but if we can get a retracement back into that uh, move to, to become a buyer, we actually want to be a seller from a lot higher, around the 90 level, maybe even the 91 level. So it really does depend. Um, but, I, you know, we have been monitoring this pair for a while, but with the pound being so strong recently, um, it's kind of been in limbo in terms of giving us, it's holding out on this 87 level. It's not really pushing anywhere. So we've seen a downturn today. Um, let's see if it breaches this session candle and comes lower. If it holds here, I would anticipate it pushing past to clear those equal highs, okay? So let's see what it wants to do. Um, it is the start of the week. All of these setups will be thrown in our Discord. If you're not in the Discord, head over to our website now so you can get community access, okay? It is only £25 a month, guys, okay? There's a lot of value in there, not just Forex, uh, crypto and stocks as well. So for those that are interested, please check out our website. That's me done. I'm gonna hand you over to Nathan. Yes, what's up, guys? I hope you guys are all well. So, um, I'm going to be starting off on Euro NZD. So, just make this a bit bigger. Cool. So, starting off on the weekly, I'll just bring this down a bit. Cool. So, starting off on the weekly, um, we are actually, you know, bearish currently, right? As you can see now, underneath, you know where we are currently we have actually got some equal low so you know you we as we already understand you know the higher time frames are the most important so we are predominantly looking for sales from higher up um than where we are actually right now however if i come down to the daily uh we can actually see that you know we have actually taken up you know um structure on on the left side of where we are currently right so we've broken structure and we actually did leave this daily candle over here right so we left this daily candle we now we've come you know back down into it well last week we came back down into it now we did actually get a small you know well <laughs> a, a decent size reaction actually off of this daily candle so if i come down to the four hour you can see that bit clearly so we actually did come down into this candle also alongside that we actually did take out this liquidity that was being built since well <laughs> since early april so we actually did take that out now what we were actually looking at um, for last week, seeing as we did actually leave an institutional candle inside of um, inside of the daily candle after we actually broke structure on the 15 minute time frame, which I'll show you very quickly as well. Um, so yeah, we did actually break structure on the lower time frame. So coming back to the one hour very quickly, um, we actually did you know leave this institutional candle, which price didn't actually mitigate out of if you look closely, and we also did leave an imbalance here as well. So we are expecting price to, prices to come back down into this um, this institutional candle here for a move higher. Now, like I said earlier, we are predominantly looking at sell positions. So if I come back up to the four hour very quickly, just to show you where our points of interest actually are. So our first point of interest actually is on the four hour time frame with this institutional candle candle sponsoring you know this big down move and we haven't actually come back into it as well also i just wanted to bring your attention to i believe it was the daily once again um if we do break this area you know if price does want to come up you know higher you know we do have this institutional candle on the daily as well followed by you know some daily imbalance as well so this is something that we are 
you know, very aware of as well. But like I said, the first point of interest would actually be this four hour candle. Now, you also want to be weary. We do have equal highs above that as well. So this is a position where you kind of do want to be careful in, right? So that's EN. Um, if I just come down to AUDJPY very quickly as well. So starting off on the weekly. Cool. So starting off on the weekly, we can actually see that, you know, we are in a we are in, in a bullish trend. If I come down into the daily, we can actually see that you know we've actually taken out the daily higher high, um, which we've been actually actually be waiting for prices to kind of take out. So we have actually taken that out already from the looks of things. Looking at the daily, you know we do have this weekly institutional candle that we are approaching. So this could be our area where we turn around. Now, on the daily, like I was just showing you, we have taken out this high and left this institutional candle followed by you know this strong up move so we could you know very well likely come down into this area but if we you know once we do see that retracement i just want to bring your attention very quickly to the eight hour as well where we do have an institutional candle so these are our two points of interest where we are kind of looking at prices to reverse um, most importantly i think would be this daily area just because you know the daily area does take premise over everything else sorry the higher time frames take premise over you know the other time frame so you know if i come back to the daily very quickly once more you can see that we have this institutional candle here so this is where we could be looking at price to retrace to kind of you know show us how price is approaching the weekly so that is it from me um hope you guys got value and passing over to lit cat mr pastor pips <laughs> thank you bro um i've just got one pair for everyone uh this week which is on the pound dollar cable um, looking at things starting off from the weekly perspective, I just have a look at the line chart. Okay, we've had price retracing, and of course, off of the back of the NFP news uh, last Friday, we saw prices really pumping and pushing uh, to potentially make a new high. Now, as I come lower down in the time frames, okay, um, you know we, we've wiped the liquidity. Okay, um, I would like to see what price does at this daily candle. Okay, now looking closer at the picture around the um, eight hour. Okay, we actually have a buy to sell candle sitting in around the zone here. So I do believe we can get a small retracement uh, before prices continue uh, on its bullish run to make a new high there on the weekly, um, also new high um, on the daily. Also, if we can take out the high uh, 1.42, uh, that would be great. That's the overall target for um, GBP USD um, bullish all around. However, we can get a minor pullback. Um, with that being said, um, that is all from us and the team. Guys, make sure to check out www.litcapital.co.uk. And remember, like, you know, about 79% of you guys are, you know, unsubscribed. Guys, hit that, you know, subscribe button, bell notification, like, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, and just help us get over to our first target, which is 1,000 subscribers. We're almost there, guys. You know the vibes. It's lit side. And remember, guys, every day is money day. Peace.